Hi guys, it's Anthony and Anna Molinara from O'Brien Real Estate with another edition of the Eastern Weekly Property News for 2020, where the real estate information is always on the house. We want to firstly kick off this week with the big news that our list with O'Brien competition ends at the end of this week. So we'll shortly be drawing the lucky winners of the three great prizes that we have up for grabs. One lucky person will be driving home the first prize, which is the new Volkswagen Polo valued at $26,770. The winner of the second prize wins a Harvey Norman Entertainment Package valued at $6,000. And the third prize winner will take home a Kiki Furniture Package valued at $4,000. We would like to take this opportunity to thank all of the competition entries. And with over 850 entries and only a couple more days to go, we wish every entry the very best of luck in winning any of the prizes up for grabs. The official announcements will be made on Monday the 1st of February via social media. Now of course many families this week have been preparing for school to restart, many also returning from holidays and many would be preparing to return to work in both a physical and a mental sense. There is no doubt the festive season in Victoria has been bigger than any previous festive season. People's spending power continues to be strong and according to the Reserve Bank data analysed by finder.com.au, the nation charged around $24.3 billion on their credit cards, which is an average of $1,748 per person. Now, the government is hoping the spending will continue when the strict credit laws are relaxed in March this year, which has been done to help lessen the impact of COVID-19 and get people and businesses investing into the future. The main change I see helping people to borrow money will be the removed burden on banks around the accuracy of the supplied credit information, which will move from a lender beware to now being a borrow responsibility principle. This will reduce the verification burden with the goal to cut the red tape so credit flows smoothly and much, much faster. The economic insights released this week saw the consumer price index end the year at 0.9% to December. Inflation rose in December mainly due to unwinding of free childcare and almost an 11% increase in the price of tobacco, mainly due to excise tax increases. Also reported was the 14 month high in the ANZ Roy Morgan Consumer Confidence Measure. Now let's take a quick look at the numbers for the week. Private sales reported across Victoria improved strongly over the last week with 1,290 sales. Auctions also increased with 103 auction sales reported a very healthy 87% clearance rate. The numbers at O'Brien Real Estate were also stronger with 97 new listings hitting the market, 92 coming under contract and 85 confirmed sales with the top sale price being $1.48 million. Rental property of the week is apartment 2713, 220 Spencer Street, Melbourne. Positioned within the prestigious Upper West Side building, this apartment provides unparalleled luxury with rich materials throughout. Boasting spectacular future-proof views off the bay, it provides an abundance of natural light. This two-bed, two-bath apartment with large balcony has all the requirements of perfect city pad needs. Setting new benchmarks in luxury designer style and cutting edge technology, this breathtaking ultra stylish apartment is available now and offering one week's free rent for the successful tenant. So our property of the week is 37 The Boulevard, Doncaster. This immaculate merchant builder family home on almost a quarter of an acre rises to attention across the Ruffy Lake Park on one of the most tightly held spots in Doncaster. Like a living art landscape, the esteemed stretch of beautiful parkland offers a picnic perfect position to call home with stunning green outlooks from the panoramic balcony. Featuring three bedrooms, two bathrooms and a double carport, this property has been loved and lived in for over 40 years with the first open for inspection this week and scheduled to go to auction on Saturday the 20th of February at 11.30am unless of course it's sold prior. With a price range between 1.45 and 1.595 million, we expect the demand to be high with minimal stock available. Now that's all for this week. I'm Anthony. And I'm Anna Molinaro. And remember, the information provided is of a general nature. You should always seek independent legal, financial, taxation, or other advice in relation to your unique circumstances. Until, Until next week, week, it's bye for now. now.